Hey everyone, today we're gonna to learn how to use scrolling panels inside of Storyline 360 to handle a lot of text and images that you may have in a small amount of space. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jeff Batt, and if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja, which you can check out all of my previous blog posts. You can download templates and then also check out full courses covering anything e-learning development related. All right, if you've been working with Storyline at all, you'll notice that Pages are pretty limited. They're not responsive. They're not like Rise courses where you can scroll down and see a lot of information and kind of build blocks on top of each other, which sometimes is good because Storyline can handle animations better and kind of the the slide by slide experience a little bit better. But there may be times where you have some information that you want to have on one page. Now, I would always say, look at your learning strategy. Do you really need to have that much information on one page? Can you simplify the information in any way and split that up per page, just so there's not as much that they have to consume on one page? But if for some reason you still want to have this information or still find a need to have this information on one page, then I wanna show you how to do that. Now, inside a storyline, there is something called scrolling panels that allow you to take a window and then have that window be the kind of area that will have um, the window basically into additional content and then that content can scroll within that window. Because if I preview this, notice right now on this page, I have a lot of text and I just grabbed some bacon ipsum text if you have not heard of Bacon Ipsum, I've talked about it on some of my previous channels, but this will change your life. You know that uh, you have Lorem Ipsum out there, which is just kind of sample text, but there is something called Bacon Ipsum. If you go to baconipsum.com, that will generate some bacon goodness for you. If you're a vegetarian, that's fine. There is something called Cupcake Ipsum. If you don't like sugar, that's fine. There is a pretty much an Ipsum for everybody out there. So this one is one of my favorites. I love bacon. But if you come in here, you can see we have a lot of text here. And so pretty much I wanna take all of this and including an image. So what I did is I added some space within my text and what I wanna do is have that image as part of my text and as it starts to scroll down. So how do I do this? Well, I can come into the insert tab here and then I can go into scrolling panel. Now, if I click on scrolling panel, I can drag out an area for my scrolling panel. Now, I probably wanna move this off to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this out and then place this and I'm going to hold down the shift button to move both of them at the same time and I'm going to move that off to the side. Now here I'm going to go ahead and place my scrolling panel window where I want this content to be visible and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my stage. Now if you want this to be centered on your stage you can go ahead and go into format and then you can click on center or align middle, and that will just align it to the middle of the stage. If you only have one object selected inside of Storyline, it's gonna align it to the stage, and that's really where I want it to be here. Now what I can do with this scrolling panel, and notice it gets added to my timeline here, and I'm gonna move this up to the top of my timeline. I'm not sure if you need to specifically do that, but I like this to be on top of everything else here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select my text and drag that into my scrolling panel. And you'll notice that it automatically recognized that I'm dropping it inside of a scrolling panel, and then I can go ahead and position it inside of that scrolling panel. Now you can see I have a little bit more width to work with, so I can go ahead and stretch that out here. What happens is there's still text down below, yes, and I can see that this little line right here goes beyond, but if I go ahead and preview this, it's going to have that scroll, and it's gonna continuously scroll um, with that text there, but I still have that space for that image, and we'll go ahead and add that image here in a second. So I'm gonna pause the audio here, and then you can see that it creates this scroll bar. Now this scroll bar may look a little bit different depending on the browser, but you can see here it will scroll that text up and down. So I can even use my scroll wheel. If I don't wanna click and drag, I can use my scroll wheel to go up and down. So how do I add this image? Well, all I have to do is click and drag that over here, that scroll is there, it also knows that it needs to be part of that scroll. Now I could position that image here how I want, but once I go ahead and preview it, it's gonna lock it in place and it's gonna scroll with my content here. So you can see as I start to scroll, now my image doesn't have an animation. Let me stop this audio. So you can see it starts to scroll 
and my image doesn't have an animation, so that's why we saw the image first. And so I probably, in this case, either wanna get rid of the image on the text, or I can add an animation. If I come up to animation, let's have this also kind of fade in and fade in from the right. So I'll have it fade in from the right so it kind of happens simultaneously. So we now have these two different things animating in. What happens if I just wanna target one thing? Like if I select over here and then I just select in there, you'll notice that it will target the text, but I can also select this little triangle over on the left-hand side in my timeline, and that will allow me to click into the different images, adjust the audio or adjust the animations and drag that out or even adjust when those objects kind of animate in. So I can easily just group things together inside of the scrolling panel, drag all of the objects I want to be scrolled into the scrolling panel, position them, and then everything kind of happens automatically after that. So hopefully this is helpful for you and you're able to play around with this scrolling panel a little bit more. And in some use cases, it might be helpful Maybe not even just with text. You have a bunch of images you want them to scroll through. Uh, in fact, what I can do here, let's let's do one more thing, actually. If I go into my picture tool and I click on zoom picture, just by enabling that, watch what happens. So if I create a bunch of images and I want that image to be zoomable where they can click on it to zoom in, all I had to do was click on that one button. And then now, even though this is inside of a scroll, let me hit pause on that. Even though this is inside of a scroll, this is still zoomable. So I can click on this and it will zoom in and it will zoom out. So I can still get this uh, picture to come in and this picture to come out. So that allows us to scroll vertically. We can scroll down, we can scroll up. Hopefully that's useful for you and you're able to apply that just by quickly dragging and dropping content into the scrolling panel. If you want to remove content from the scrolling panel, you could also come in here and cut that and paste it somewhere else as well. If this has been helpful for you, head on over to my YouTube channel, click that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows my channel to continue to grow, allows me to continue to produce this content for you. Also, if you wanted to check out more, you can head on over to my website at learningdojo.ninja. You can check out all my previous blog posts, download free templates, and then check out full courses that cover everything from A to Z in these various tools. That's all I have for today, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.